live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Big Girl and Friends. My name is Christopher Wilson, also known as Big Girl, and we are delighted to welcome you to the almost conclusion of our seventh week. Is that right? Seventh week? And it is a beautiful Friday, May 8th in Toronto, Ontario. It's been a gorgeous day here today. Um, I was busy, busy, busy working for the Toronto School Board, sharing music with all my fellow virtual students, having a great day. And um, so much music, so much chat to be had uh, tonight. So I'm not going to belabor my personal one-man show. I'm going to welcome back my regular partner in crime, my fabulous friend, the Associate Director of Toronto Musical Concerts. For the f oh, actually, I'll, I won't have announced it. Please welcome to the stream, the wonderful Mr. Ryan Kelly. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Ryan, look at your fabulous hair. Well, I, it's okay. So this is the, the, the trick about the haircut that I had just before we went into lockdown was that it was basically two sizes, short and not in one section. So <laughs> no. there was like, and there was a far more definitive line um, uh, on the side of my head when I first originally um got this like i had like a like a a part shaved into mm -hmm. it and then the first round of covid haircuts quarantine haircuts came by and i i joked about it but then i was like well you know what's what's there to lose so i took the trimmer and i did a little whoops sorry i did a little uh part shave and left it alone but then it like quarantine has been like two months now so i was just like yeah. all right I feel like a haircut again. So I just set it like my, sh I have clippers on. And so I just set them on like a one and followed the lines. And it turned out to be a pretty, pretty good haircut. I think very actually. good, very dashing. Well, I, I just did one thing, which was trim the sides and the back with my iPhone in the, in the mirror. Okay. I don't know what the back looks like. This, the, and this is all that matters, right? It's showbiz, right? <laughs> Happy mask, sad mask, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea, actually. So anyway, so yeah, I wanted to spruce up and tidy up. Excuse me. I do have a mustache hair in my mouth, and it does irritate me. Um, and, and I love yeah, how you clean this up. It's all great. Well, there's one thing. I can't grow a good beard. I don't have a good bushy beard i have like a wild man of the woods or of the uh, urban landscape beard that's kind of patchy but i know i can do a good handlebar mustache so i right. just and i've i've been feeling poorly the last couple of days so i'm so grateful for uh jeff for stepping in last night and alessandro for being the night before it was am i correct at that that's right yeah um i my back went out uh one day and i thought oh i just don't feel well and then the very next day, a stretching, and that that was by picking up the milk for the cup, the for the tea. <laughs> and then I stretched in bed yesterday, and my neck locked, and I was in major pain on the left side. Thankfully, my chiropractor was do was seeing acute instances. Oh, great, great, great! And when I called to just leave a message to see if they were seeing patients at all. Um, he happened to be right by the phone. Hooray. So he saw me within an hour. I uh, rested like that. Yeah, barbitric, barbitric, crack, full, full, like it was evil and fulfilling all at once. <laughs> and But it still hurt a lot last night, so I just didn't feel well. Yeah. Today I woke up, things are a little stiff, but I'm also embarking on a 30-day yoga journey on Monday. Um, exciting. So... Uh, I need to take, I know, I know what I need to do at home is take better physical care of myself. Good for you. Um, so, uh, you lesson have, learned. Do you have a specific yoga practice or a program that you've well, been Well, we're going to do, I, I know that YouTube has a ton of different programs and, um, I've used a few of them over time. Um, and some of them, uh, are a little too, like, soft i like to be challenged a little bit and others are a little too like yoga for men <laughs> right and then and then they're like do a plank pose on one hand this is spirituality and i'm like no that's not like it doesn't so uh i'm what is valerie it? talking about here you oh it. i posted i posted a video from a show that i did in 1999 on the uh rotterdam six with my holland america cast my friend julia posted uh or shared the video and i shared a little clip from the video and val stanoids had learned that show 
uh, as well, but then ended up learning other shows to take on a ship. So, but I think it was like the last like dying clause of that show on the ships. We were like the last, it, it's, <laughs> It ended with everybody dressed in pink Victorian garb, singing Your Love Keeps Lifting Me with giant fans and flags <laughs> and feathers. And Mel Phillipson was actually not in this cast, but did this and her heart costume lit up with um, Christmas lights and then explosions with fire and, and, and like puffs of smoke came out of the ground. It was ridiculous. And this is pre So You Think You Can Dance, right? Wow. So. So it was just a lot of like walking around and presenting. It wasn't Amazing. like, like, like I could keep you put up. your back out. That's what she said. <laughs> but but Valerie anyway. had a wonderful recommendation relative to yoga exploration. Our, oh, sorry. Um, we'll get back to you that, Valerie. Our oh. lovely friend, Julia. Julia Yuha. Uh, yeah. Um, Live with ease videos. And now our, I don't know if those are on. Valerie, YouTube. you'll have to tell us in the chat where we can find them. Because I'll be YouTube. happy to find them there. But I think my, uh, yeah, yeah, the show was already dead. Um, my neighbor upstairs, Scott and I, are going to do like a sort of like put it on FaceTime on mute while we do it together oh, at 9 a.m. in the morning for some, sort of like an accountability thing. So we're going to do That's yoga with me. You, babe. 10. <laughs> I know it is. It's very early for me, actually, especially oh, in a beautiful oh, oh, I'm gonna see Ryan the sun doing yoga. I'm gonna see the sun on the other side of the window for the <laughs> first time in months. Um, so, but uh, we're doing yoga with Adrienne, which oh, is uh, uh, a woman who does often a lot of 30 day challenges. It's not so. like yoga with Adrienne. It's yoga with Adrienne. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I think she's, she just seems cool. That's the thing. She seems cool and kind of pragmatic. It's about the breath. It's about the body. It's about the training. But it's also, oh, good. Yay, she's on YouTube. All right. YouTube, yay, I'm going to find her. And Facebook. Very good, Julia. Yeah, but I like I'm all over the YouTube right now. I'm, a, I'm 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 subscribing to all sorts of channels right now. This is well, the, this is the time to do it. Super excited for you to engage in this yoga practice. Thank to, you to honor thy temple and uh, and 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 catch up with that fabulous haircut that you're gracing us. Well, with. I have to I have to like get if I've got my summer from the neck up the maybe COVID, ready yeah. i gotta get from the neck down ready <laughs> and maybe for once during this quarantine from the waist down because like everyone is good from the waist <laughs> up for all these calls right and like i said from the front on who knows well our lovely Stephanie D. Domen domenico antonio domenico antonio um she had this wonderful sparkly pink number last night and i'm like are you actually only, is it, is it just a dress? So she, she proved it. She, she got up on a couch and she said, look, I'm even wearing stockings. Oh, she, oh, she got fully head <laughs> to toe. Not during the broadcast, but prior. So <laughs> she, knows, she knows what she's doing. She was living the part. Well, she, listen, well, and so our guest knows what she's doing too. Our guest, yes, we're so excited about tonight. Yeah, me too. It's the, it's the family. The family's on tonight. So, I mean, I have to introduce both of these beautiful people and actually we'll, we'll bring in the, even a third person in the stream as a surprise. Yes! Guy. So, <laughs> wow, I think I just deafened my right ear, love. No, it was fake screaming. So our, our, our headliners this evening are the gorgeous, the talented Miss Louise Camilleri, mm -hmm. who uh, Toronto audiences recently saw in the Mervish production of Piaf, and her fabulous partner in crime, her husband, Mr. Mark Camilleri, who is a fabulous yes. director, orchestral contractor, sound engineer, crazy man. <laughs> and, and, and and two of the nicest people we've ever met two in our lives. And I will say, on the onset, I now get to publicly thank them. Um, both Mark and Louise lent their gorgeous talents at the beginnings of, the, of this initiative. Oh, I threw them some lyrics. Uh, to make an arrangement of um, another opening, another show from Cole Porter's Kiss Me Kate. Mm -hmm. And they came back with this most jazzy. Mark said, this is kind of a square tune to kind of hip up, but we're going to do our best. And I remember being on one of my walks at the beginning of this, like seven weeks ago, uh, just by the brickworks, crying my eyes out. Like, I'm uh, really, I got to go, oh my God, we have a theme song. It's so great. So, too. Like, it's so catchy. To to and the dulcet tones of, of uh, Louise Camilleri and the style and fingers of Mark Camilleri. Mm -hmm. And we are thrilled 
to have them with us. So welcome, without further ado, ladies and Mr. Mark. Yay! Yay! How's it going, fam? Good, good. good. How are you guys doing? We're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, you've got a setup there. You've got a microphone, and you've, you've got, got pillows. Like you actually look like we're on a talk show tonight. This is <laughs> you are elevating us to the nth degree right now. For real? Thank you for giving us a reason to get dressed nicely. <sighs> I kind of feel like thank I thank you for giving me the same reason. Well, between between Ryan's haircut and yours, Jizzy couch, I feel like I'm completely. Under, I forgot my frock. Are you in? A, are you in a shed or a garage somewhere, Christopher? Have you been kidnapped? What's going on over there? <laughs> so, my lovely Kemler, Louise, and Mark, what? Ha you guys are in Toronto as well. Yeah. Where in the city are you guys located? We're in the West End of uh, Toronto. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, we are. <laughs> literally, literally, literally. I did the same thing. I just went northeast, southwest. Like I just did this with my head. I went, Never oh, eat shredded wheat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. West End. Of direction. So, High Park is. Are you or even Wester? Me, High me, Park. Yeah, High High Park. High Park. Oh, lovely. High Park. Great. Yeah, lovely. just did north. Yeah. So what is, I mean, obviously there were projects. Fortunately, you had completed your extended run with Mervish in, um, in Edith Piaf's. It was called Piaf, yes? Piaf Dietrich. Or hello, yeah, dear Dietrich, that's right. Piaf Dietrich. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mark, you never stop doing things, either MDing or um, people in Imagine Sound Studios. So we all had things happening, coming up, and obviously that changed. So what has uh, family isolation and COVID times how did that, how, what's that been looking like in the Camilleri household? Well, as far as gigs went, we had a couple gigs lined up for the summer and mm -hmm. uh, they of course were canceled, postponed, that's fine. Um, so we began uh, just really taking care of the family, working at home, <clears throat> uh, taking our time, <laughs> thinking about everything. And uh, you've seen from our videos, we've had our, our little one doing some Lego stuff, yes. We've been schooling, all that homeschool business that you've got to do. Yeah. That. How are you doing? New math? Is new math working or are you just carrying the one at this point? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, math. you know what? I take care of the math and I do the math. You know, my uh, teacher friends are going to kill me, but I do the math the way we did the math. Uh, oh, you're the worst questions. kind of parent. No, I'm I'm kidding. <laughs> Learn your multiplication table. Let's just get this done. Let's do a hundred of them. Then you know how to do it. Move right. on. You know, like oh. so. Um, you you have who who's been there with you in your family? It's you two and and Adrian and your son Adrian. Adrian. Hey, oh, you Adrian! Know. You look at your fancy shirt, Adrian. You you're gr you're growing too because we saw you at Christmas and you're you're bigger already. Like how you must oh, be at the age hair, where you're dude. like yeah, your hair is growing oh, too. Magic! I oh, love it. It's natural and oh. beautiful. So how how old are you now, buddy? Twelve, turning thirteen in like two weeks. Wow, what? two weeks! Ooh, you about to be a teenager? Yeah. Are you planning? Are you planning a COVID? Party or like party? A, like a Zoom party or anything like that? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, and and uh, maybe like a neighborhood drive by of like Lego aficionados. <laughs> yeah. Neighborhood is great because all the parents tell each other we have um we're connected by uh email and yes. all the parents tell each other who's having a birthday and then the kids put up signs we do chalk drawing oh we that's wonderful porches and then the kids walk by the birthday child walks by and sees everybody sort of saying happy birthday so it kind of gives the kids a little something right it's like the parade coming to you too instead yeah, of having yeah. to put on the parade mr. that's avery, wonderful mr avery saltzman's given a loving shout out to you oh yes oh and by the way Bobby, uh, Bobby Shu said, Mark Camilleri on social media. It's a miracle. <laughs> and it's being saved on here. Too. <laughs> and, and Bobby, so it's archived good. forever on Facebook. So Adrian, we want to, we want to know the real, the deal here. So how are her mom and dad, don't throw them under the bus. This is on Facebook. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. This is like, no. Okay. We'll just, maybe we'll just ask questions and you point to which one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So like, who's, who's been the strictest? Okay, oh. Chris, you asked the, you asked the question, Chris. Who's been the most helpful with your schoolwork? Okay, uh, who has made you laugh the most? <laughs> oh, <interesting>. oh. <laughs> who, 
Who's making more noise around the house? <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, you are. <laughs> I thought I was allowed to ask questions. Why is I'm I sorry, I got questions? excited. Go, Chris, go. Who's making yummy treats at home? Uh, yeah, let's right. talk about that for a second. I understand there's been a little, you know, we've had the we've had the COVID crisis, but you have had the candy chronicle. Like literally the you know, Wonka factory. You have, there. To, you have to kind of find your joy, right? So mm -hmm. I, I Mark does all the cooking really in the house. He's he, he's found his new zen. So now that he had more time, he's really cooking all the dinners, all the meals, mm -hmm. everything. So I was like, okay. Um, and I sort of picked up the bartending. <laughs> and I'll do some baking. I'll try that because I do not bake. Don't ask. <laughs> don't bake. And so I started trying to do things, and I I'm not good at that. I can I can understand the chemistry of certain things, but not baking. Started <laughs> baking is science. It really is. It's a different kind of science. Yeah. So I started making um chocolates and chocolate mm. ganache and things. And I thought candy, candy's interesting. Thing. I don't eat it. And everyone's asking, how do you stay in shape? You're eating all this crap. How do you do it? I'm not eating it. We're really not eating it. So I made toffees at first, oh. I made chocolate bars, and now I'm making gummies, all kinds so of gummy bears. Where is gummies. it going? I'm obsessed with gummies. I You're love gummies. It. Where is it going? Well, he's eating it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, who's the tester? Like, who's the candy tester? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So lucky. Yeah. So, so now I'm making cocktail gummies, so he can't test those, but I still make other gummies for him. Um, but Just then I, I will do a porch pickup for Ryan Kelly and I. Just putting it out there. Okay. Perfect. A drive-by gummy snatch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been doing sneaky deaky drive-bys. And uh, we're going to call it the GDS, the drive-by gummy snatch. Yeah. The yeah. GBDY. The GBDS, yeah. yeah Hashtag yeah. GBDS. That'll be on your Louis on your website. You, okay, know, you can okay. always do a drive by gummy snatch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Adrian, I mean, obviously, I mean, it stands to reason that of course you're missing your buddies and all your friends yeah. at school. But are are you are you kind of vibing with kind of doing school on the home front? Like, is that working out for you? With well, teacher Mark? <laughs> well, the way we have to hand in homework like totally sucks the websites we're using are so bad because you have to download stuff on your computer uh, download another thing to actually do the work and then go to the website and download more stuff to hand it in and so it's, it's not so productive mm -hmm. yeah you're learning how to use the computer really well obviously mm -hmm. like learning how to download yeah which is important <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's, let's talk about one of the most exciting things that you participated in with your dad. And I don't know if mom, I know, or mom was just filming it. You. Oh, no, together, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an architect. Yeah. <laughs> you, because I know your dad before, before you were born, was a fan of the Star Wars and the Lego, a man after my own heart. And in the studio there, Imagine Sound Studios, there are huge, huge, huge Lego replicas of these like, like the Millennium Falcon and the and the and like um X, uh, sorry the X Wing uh, fighter and uh, you took that beast of a Millennium Falcon apart and put it. How many pieces are in that Millennium Falcon Lego? Six thousand yeah, plus. 000, yeah, six thousand plus. And you didn't lose one single piece. No. no. And and you oh, didn't have a kitchen table for how many weeks? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, a long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were incredibly taking impressed. it apart would have made me the most nervous. Mark, were you nervous when it's after you'd built it already, taking like seeing it being taken apart at all? Well, you know what made me more nervous was where I had it in the studio because it was it's so huge. I can't mount it on the wall up. You know, what I mean, if you oh, put yeah. it, high, it was above the door, wasn't it? On the way, the exit, the inside. It, it was in the control room. Oh yeah. On, on on my fridge, you know, whatever. Sure. But, but, <laughs> With the, yeah, exactly. but where it was, people would bump into it. So it made me nervous when there were a lot of people at the studio. Yeah. So it got knocked a couple times and a couple pieces fell off and blah, blah, blah. So I was collecting them as they were falling off. And I finally, now that this happened, when do I have two weeks to build Lego straight? So uh, I said, Adrian, we're taking this thing apart. So how many hours did it take to take apart? Five or something? No, Five hours to take, to take it apart? apart? Yeah. It took like six hours. Yeah, six hours. To take to it apart. Yeah, and 
our thumbs were so raw, like yeah. taking each piece of <laughs> like, like practicing the guitar. Did you but use any tools to pry any of them apart or anything? Yeah, or? we have a couple of tools that, that help you take the pieces off, but it's so slow. Like you gotta get the thing on. It's like I oh, forget it. Just give me the stupid. Me thing. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Louise like is like, "Where's my toffee cutter? Where's my <laughs> okay. Where's my gummy <laughs> shaper?" <laughs> like, and they're like, "My goes here." Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Keep it down, so, you guys. Okay. There's a lot of excitement going on in that household. Oh my god, yeah. So, so anyway, yeah, we took over our dining room table for yeah. two weeks. So we were eating table, uh, eating dinner on little tables, and our it was yeah, we were, Lego in your craft dinner. Lego, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, was, that's amazing. Yeah, it was super fun to build again because I got it before he was born. Yeah, I know. Yeah, or maybe yeah, he yeah. was one or something, yeah, whatever. Like so. way too young to be building. So. Uh, so it was fun to experience it with him now because yeah. he's a huge Lego fan. So uh, now, are, are you going to continue yeah. to build now, Adrian? Is this is this now? Do you have been bit by the Lego bug like yeah. like full on now? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, good. Like so said, what do we what do we expect to see in the future? Um, probably my Lego sets. Oh yeah, get them all finished and done. Yeah. Just What's curate it? that, make it like a whole Facebook montage, and I'll be like in the yeah. front row with my popcorn. <laughs> yeah, do like um time lapse picture, like video, and and, and, and oh, continue yeah. to do time lapse and stuff. That would be really cool. Uh, because I totally dig that sort of stuff. I that's my that's my mo at three in the morning when I can't sleep on on YouTube. If I'm not watching TikTok compilations, I'm watching the weird time lapse videos. So yeah, 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 do it, do it. Awesome. Well, Adrian, we are so excited that you came to visit us looking so handsome with your fabulous shirt and your big, beautiful hair. I'm probably going to get your mom and dad to uh, perform a little song. So are you uh, are you going down to this, the sound studio to do some mixing for the fam jam? Is that what's happening? So they have got they, this, it, this. We've got we've got the kid in the studio now. This is fantastic. Yeah, yeah he's going to go in the booth and make sure everything sounds right. Awesome. Right. Is, okay, Adrian, we'll, we'll see at the end. Oh, Camillary Fam Jam. I love it. Thank <laughs> you. So cool. And a have a great time down shirt. there, Adrian. <laughs> so, um, before we move on, I should remind. I mean, we just got so excited about the the, the Camillary uh, chit chat. Um, this is an ongoing fundraiser for the Actors Fund of Canada at AFCHelps.ca. We have been so incredibly uh, uh, overwhelmed and 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 grateful for all of the generous con contributions throughout our uh, seven weeks thus far. Um, whether it's five dollars or a hundred dollars, or if you're just here to share in the community, that is awesome too. But if you are able to support this outstanding organization, supporting the artistic community during this COVID crisis, supporting actors and behind the scenes from coast to coast, every bit of support is helped. And if you're able to do it during the broadcast. We are happy to shout you out and say thank you in person. Thank you. So there's many things you want to talk about, but when you guys were thinking about the musical offerings, and this is again a landmark. This is the first time we've had live accompaniment with <laughs> live singing at the same time in the same place in a fancy really? studio. People yep. are gonna buy this show, Chris. I mean, this is the <laughs> thing. It's just getting better and better. Yeah, Why that's what FED one wore a whole dress. Last night, <laughs> that's why actor, and, just, and then that's why obviously Louise is obviously dressed. Ooh, that's goodness. when I saw her whole get up, I was like, I, I was like, oh man. I say this very reverently, but that's why Actor and Equity have been sending me emails to make sure that I let them know everyone that's being involved. They understand it's a fundraising initiative, but I was like, oh, Actor and Equity noticed. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't, we can no longer be counted to dress like Muppets, right? Like to no. only have a top half ready and really just have a, a hand. Never mind. Anyway, so, yeah. uh, so let's give them a hand about yeah. singing their, what, is, what are you going to sing for us tonight? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, and I mean, we don't have to jump right in, but I'd love to hear a song. Oh, sure. We're going to start off with uh, just a fun song that um, uh, I, uh, I like know. to sing. It's, it's oh, a studio. It's all wow. happening. Change it up. So it has to go up a hair, love, because my head's being cut off. And we do not want to cut off that beautiful har. I cut my har. There we go. There <laughs> we go. Uh, yeah. I, I lovingly call this one Reflections of a Career, <clears throat> but it's from one of my favorite musicals, The Life, uh, that was on Broadway, and this is The Oldest Profession. Oh, I can't wait oh, to hear it. Oh, lovely. We're, We're going to give you this thing. scream, my loves. Okay. <clears throat> I'm one 
worn out and weary. I ain't no machine. My head hurts. My feet hurts. And everything in between. I'm getting too old for the oldest profession. I'm getting too tired and too slow. I'm getting too old for the half hour sessions i'm getting too old for a pro i'm getting too old for the climb all those stairs now a half dozen times every night I'm getting too old for to take them in pairs now or to take off my clothes in the light. I can't seem to manage those Shriners who manage to manhandle me every trip to tell you the truth i've had so many shriners that i'm up for membership when i was 16 it was fun turning tricks well, I needed the money and I wanted some kicks, but I ain't 16. I just turned 26. It's time to come in from the cold. That's like I'm getting to. Well, let me see now. <clears throat> so that's five Johns a night, six nights a week. Of course, that was back in my prime. That's 30 Johns a week, 50 weeks a year, because I always visit mama at Christmas time. That's 30 times 50 multiplied by 10. Holy, sh let me do that again. After 10 years in the trade, I really made the grade. It looks like I've been laid by over 50. Thousand men. Lord have mercy. I'm tired of doing those dead beats and pikers and howling over the price. I'm tired of spending the weekends at Rikers. You never meet anyone nice. I've done every, everything a body can do. But how goddamn much? Can a body go through? I'm getting too old for the endless procession. I'm getting too old for the constant depression. I'm getting too old for the oldest profession. I'm getting too old for the life. I'm tired, tired, tired. I'm a weary. I'm getting too old.
I think we can just finish the stream right there. Just literally, <laughs> the whole city is banging pots and pans for that song right now. Oh, okay, yeah, that's just full mo. That's just oh. full full belt in E flat. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah. Mm. What is oh, going guys. on there? <laughs> I think your house just caught on fire. <laughs> Something did. That is Christy so exciting. Was, was like so, that was. I didn't. I've never heard that song. It's from the life. Yeah, oh, it's from the life. All Georgia about. Miss Grant was like, I love. Literally, that. when you got to counting, I was like, this is my life. I was like, this. <laughs> oh. This. I meant going up the stairs double. Oh. That's what I meant. Not the number of men. <laughs> right. Yeah, the fabulous Lilith White on Broadway. You have to hear that version. She is oh. Yeah. Well, oh, Lilith I... White. She's incredible. Now, I remember when she was in um, uh, How to Succeed in Business back yeah. in the day, and they sang uh, Brotherhood of Men on the Tonys. And that was the first time I'd heard her sing. And I was blown away yeah. by not just the voice, but her power. She is yeah. powerful. And that's what I felt watching. Like you are giving full power when you sing a song like that. Oh, yeah. Art space. Like, the Art whole space. body to your fingers, to your hair, to your feet. <laughs> it's what and Mark, I didn't even recognize your voice at first. It was like this little man coming up. How many men are you? How many men? Man? <laughs> man? <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever because she was on Louise was auditioning for something and we were finding <laughs> material. And she says, There's this song, and I'm like, I don't know this song. No one, whatever, whatever. Okay, yeah. let's let's try it. And she sang it, and we finished. I'm like, what the hell was that? Like, yeah, it was that. It was like he ever heard you yes. sing that song. Yeah, yeah, was he right. was, yeah, he was like, yeah. what? I was, was like, that? where are you yeah. hiding this piece? What the hell, Little right, song. right. Oh, so amazing. Oh, it's fantastic. I want to shout out. We have our lovely first donation. Uh, someone who has continued to be generous. My dear friend Justin Holly, all the way from Brisbane, Australasia. Oh wow! Hey, Jazza, all the way from Brisbane. Thanks for Thank joining you. us hey. on a beautiful Saturday morning. And, and let us know how it, our future is. How are things in Australia? Yes, uh, how's tomorrow? Is it all over? Yeah. <laughs> so, um. I mean, you guys, what an interesting household you have. I mean, okay, so Louise, you are not only a fantastic performer, but you also have uh, a side um, b business uh, to do with natural um, natural skin and hair products. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, holistic skincare products. So Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that is just another love that I have of all things health, wellness, and beauty type of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, for the longest time, I, I studied aromatherapy, reflexology, everything to do with, uh, you know, essential oils and so on. And uh, I just one day began doing it, especially when I was off working when my kids were being born. I have two children. So um, I was doing something at home and I love to study. So I was studying this. And and uh, because my first son is, um, he was born in liver failure and he had to have a liver transplant. And oh, I lucky enough, Yeah, he had to have a liver transplant. At, at how old? Uh, he had it at 12 weeks old. He had the transplant. Wow. And um, so um, <laughs> I was able to donate part of my liver thanks to Sick Kids Hospital, mm. which is an amazing hospital. Mm. I was able to donate, <laughs> and Andrew today is 19 and he's fabulous, healthy, and well. Yeah, he did. Learn about you know the fact that everything that goes on the skin goes into the body and mm -hmm. goes to the liver. So I had to figure out ways to protect him, protect myself, and I ended up making my own products, you know, because I couldn't use yeah. things off the shelf that had chemicals, harsh chemicals and all kinds yeah. of, you know, weird ingredients. So I began doing that and that's just become a lifelong love and especially learning what the liver has to go through and, mm -hmm. and protect myself. And uh, yeah, I've been doing it for the longest time and uh, I love it. And what, what what do you brand your, your products under? It's called uh, LC Natural Health and Beauty. So Louise Camilleri, oh. Natural Health and Beauty. And and are they are do, are they sold online or your products yep. sold in on my in website? I have a website, Louise at LouiseCamilleri .com. You can find it there or LC. Uh, no, Louise at what? That's your email. You want your website? Oh, Louise Camilleri. <laughs> <laughs> LouiseCamilleri .com. So new to me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so LC Natural 
or louisecamillary.com. Thank you. There you go. Good. And, Good. Uh, yeah, so I sell there or just call me up and say, I need some shampoo or I need a face cream. I need a <clears> serum. And I'll yeah. make just I like just a, that. A, yeah. a sidewalk open. shampoo drop off snatch. Like, just get that. Oh, too. Yeah. Like, just get <laughs> all just, that. Just the, the whole drive by grab products yeah. and you're gonna you're gonna be cutting edge with this people aren't even gonna slow down they're just gonna attach hooks on the side oh. of their car and you're gonna have like custom bags and yes, yes, yes. It's amazing fantastic i can't wait for your future <laughs> yeah me too and <laughs> Because I and love making things. So this is I, I love working with my hands. I'm seeing a whole Willy Wonka L'Oreal combo <laughs> world. I, I'm very ex edible shampoos and soaps. No. <laughs> uh, my kids have always called my stuff lotions, potions, and commotions. Oh, amazing. Oh, great. I make natural perfume as well from the ascent from the essential oils, aromatherapy. Yeah. Oh, are you mother nature? The commotions are the candies and the chocolates. That That's incredible. This is oh, great. I love it. It's a great idea. And it's catchy, too. Yeah, it's yeah. a long oh, hashtag, but, you know, I... Yeah, yeah. But it's good. That's fantastic. And, Mark, I mean, you wear many, many hats in your professional world. You are an accompanist. You are a musical director. You have a very wonderful... Uh, we're housed in it right now. Um, your own um, engineering, sound engineering studio called Imagine Sound Studios. You are an orchestral contractor for many, 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 many of the shows in the city of Toronto, you're both parents. When the COVID crazy isn't happening, there's a lot going on in your household, mm. balancing an incredibly diverse schedule mm. um, in both of your res respects, plus, you know, being parents. Um, how <laughs> so it's just like, so Mark, how do you as a woman balance all of these things? Like that's, that's cause that's usually the question, right? Like, but I love that it's going to Mark. Like well, I'm just I love Mark, this. As a friend of a big girl, how do you manage, <laughs> how do all, of you manage all of it? But I'm more interested, like as a as a as a couple. I mean, I have being friends to you both. Of course, you know we've had the privilege <laughs> of seeing the inner sanctum and the and the couple dynamic. And sometimes when you know Mark is a busy man, I'm gonna I I, so I always preface if I reach out to Louise and say I'm so sorry that I'm using mm. you as a conduit, but can you give your husband a little tap on the shoulder because I sent him two emails and. It, <laughs> And it's not that Mark, Mark is just the busiest man in show business. I, but as a family, how do you balance your professional responsibilities with your family responsibilities with connection as a couple? All those things. What are well, that's a loaded question. Um, yeah, okay. I know. And it's yeah, going to be on do you? Like, that's the big question. Yeah, is, yeah. Like, how do we do this? <laughs> how do, do you actually? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd like to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you. I'll be like, I want to know too, girl. I'm, like, oh. I'm not standing up. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you're already standing up. Oh. <laughs> um. So. Um. So okay. Uh. A. I obviously love being busy. I love working. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm super lucky that I have people who call me all the time, and uh, it's great from that perspective. So. So busy is not a problem. Um. Oh, also, I have to up for a brief second. Ladies and gentlemen, the viewers, please note that on top of Mark's head, inside at 7.40 p.m., he has sunglasses. Because oh. this is Mark's thing. <laughs> they're, they're like, I, I hearken these, it's just something, it's a unique idiosyncrasy that I love to point out. If Mark doesn't have these sunglasses on his head, it's like his Linus baby blanket. He can't play. He can't play. He can play piano. So that's it's like... They're like they're like horns. He's like a magic. You're unicorn. like an X Man. Like if you put, if you take them off, you can make music with your eyes. Or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your train of thought. I was just like, I know he's always... wearing the yeah. sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. Louise, does he sleep with them? Uh, that's that's a bit you know intimate. That's <laughs> private. Everything. Christopher, you all please. the secrets. Wait, are you kidding? <laughs> Sorry, Mark. So you were saying yes, you love balancing life. Oh my god! And, um, and people call you, and that's awesome. Yeah, so that's great. Um, I'm also, I love my. I mean, as it sounds so corny, no. But I love my family, and so if given free time, that's where I want to be. You know, you're Maltese, of course you do. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so for me, it's the balancing is like, as soon as I'm home, I'm involved with the with my family. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. So those are. It's not, I don't know, I don't find it that hard to balance. Like, I'm home, I'm with them, you know what I mean? Whether it's cooking, whether it's building Lego, whether it's it's 
teaching, I mean, right now teaching math or whatever, but even helping Adrian with homework when he does have school. Um, uh, our profession's really good too. I can bring Adrian with me to mm. 90% of my gigs. Yeah, and Adrian and, has joined many a rehearsal. Yeah, we've, yeah, well. yeah. We've, we've rehearsed with Adrian. Like, he got too, yeah. Wi-Fi, he content. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But, uh, but I think he's genuinely interested in it too. Like he's, He is, for so, sure. He remembers the shows. We we have a thing after any show he sees for the first time. Um, it started when he was younger, but it's sort of it's kept now. Um, he always asks, okay, Dad, ask me the questions. And it's like, okay. And so who's your favorite character? What was your favorite song? Um, what did you think about this part? Uh, did you understand the plot? You know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then he, and then did you see mama? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this, yeah. Right. Yeah, was, was, was Mama the best? Yes, yes okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you raised him well. Excellent. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Um, yeah, so so he's always been at rehearsals. He also has been around um, adults a lot uh, due to coming to rehearsals and all my right. musician buddies and stuff. So he's comfortable with adults and can act grown up when he needs to be, you know? So, so, uh, so yeah, so balancing is not that... You know, once in a while when it gets really crazy, you know what I mean? Like there have been times where Adrian sees me the first time after three days because he's been in bed when I get home and I'm already gone and he wakes up and he thinks I was on tour. You know what I mean? That has happened. <laughs> yeah, you're back. And I'm like, I was, I was I always was here. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. But, so um, yeah, but, uh, yeah. Listen, we, can, I, can I just say also, um, we really do, it sounds cliche, but we really do make that effort because we're always away. Because mm, and and like we it's really a conscious thing we know yeah. we're ways so when we have when we're together and we have dinner together <laughs> we do this little thing in our family that we call cheers and it's almost like having a thanksgiving every night we sit down mm. and we the first time we're going to have our little drink we say okay everyone go around the table what's the cheers order and everyone just says what they're thankful for we talk about this and that everyone's safe from COVID 19 or whatever it is and we just talk about whatever mm. we did this today the, oh that we saw that whatever and we just cheers and that's always when we're together it's our thing that we do because we really make a conscious effort because it's too easy to be away all the time absolutely i agree and and you and in by planting that consciousness you know, you foster that within the family culture. That's amazing. You're also um, creating a ritual for your family huh? in, within your routine. And so huh? uh, it, it it helps you to just be present in the moment and take huh? stock of the moment rather than just letting the days wash by. There's yeah. a check-in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's very cool. A brief interjection. Um, Christy, my dear Christy, was oh, Christy. a member of our uh, company of Martin Gear. Christy, I want to, you know, say your lovely son joined. You and I had a one-on-one -on -one as we were preparing for the concert. That's not going to happen now, but will happen later. And your son was so patient, sitting in the living room while we rehearsed, and he made me a fabulous uh, uh, animated um, cartoon of a teenage mutant ninja turtle that has had a very prominent position on. And they, I mean, he joined frame. her. He joined her for a video singing as well. He She's did. Been putting out amazing bake. Oh. Baking and singing, see yeah, that it's, it's that's amazing. been really exciting, actually. Oh, Avery, yeah. Oh, you that's really nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, before we get you up to sing, you're talking about cheers and about gratitude. That might be a good little segue, because um, the last part, mm -hmm. I, there's some questions I want to have about how we got into the biz of show and how we met. All those exciting questions. But you and uh, a colleague of yours have been involved in a exciting an exciting initiative as of late, Louise, called. The COVID Chronicles. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about what that initiative yes. was? Yeah, that this is a little program that just started out of um, Ali Mang and myself, Allison Mang, uh, just talking to each other about what was going on. All we could do was talk. And we had questions about what we're going to do, what's going on. And we were both mentioning that, um, you know, we have other friends who have questions and no one knows. And what do we do? We don't have the answers. So we thought, <laughs> Let's let's ask more people. Mm. And we thought, let's get together and sort of make a time capsule of this time right now and sort of capture how we as artists, first and for foremost, um, are going through all this. How are we gonna make it through? What are people feeling? What are the emotions of suddenly mm. being, you know, cut off? And then it extended from our artists group to our associates and people who are in other lines of work and businesses. We even interviewed we so we called our friends and asked if we could interview them and we could just chronicle everything that's mm -hmm. what 
name came from the COVID Chronicles. That's right. There's Bruce. Yay, Bruce. Oh, lovely. And um, <laughs> we we uh, we spoke to people who were on the front lines in New York. We've spoken to people who have had COVID. We've spoken to people who have had so many issues, who have been through challenges in life. And we wanted to know, so how are you getting through this? Mm -hmm. Even pass on there, pass on the love and the hugs <laughs> to other people who maybe this is their first time ever going through something so challenging, so traumatic. Mm -hmm. um, we thought we could just bring a little advice. Here are some other stories that might uplift and enlighten, you know, not and too inspire, funny, yeah. but just to inspire. Exactly. And now we have, we interviewed over 70 people. We have all of this chronicled. We have it on video as well. And we're looking now to team up with, you know, maybe Cam H or Bell Talks and try to help people, you know, mental wellness awareness and, mm -hmm. and um, just help people along the way. So this is becoming a little bigger and people are asking us to do it. And, and there's that is incredible. I want to talk right now about it and, yeah. and how we're getting through. So we're so hoping exciting. to get this ebook out. It's going to start as an ebook. We're going to get it into the hands of everybody. It's it's all free, no money going anywhere. Um, but we'd love to just share it with everybody. And that's Beautiful. our book, COVID that's Chronicles. Awesome. COVID, yeah. the COVID Chronicles. It's working it's what, title. Working title. Well, that's what we were talking about earlier, and maybe even just a little bit before we started too, just catching up, talking about finding the new platform, using where we're at to 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 i don't know grow somehow to uh, to um to feel value and to give value and to and 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 like mark we were talking about old and new math and of course adrian's learning at home by being in the hey adrian he's listening right now right <laughs> uh, in the studio right now he's learning by doing and and i was saying i'm learning as well like i know how to use zoom now i know how to use tiktok now everybody knows that <laughs> but like like I, I, as small as those things are we're still obtaining new ways of doing things and new ways of sharing of and and I think what you're doing is is a beautiful taking advantage of a uh, relatively crummy situation with us being inside all the time and finding a way to to bring light to people and and I think that's incredible. So oh. thank you. Do I hear a gay man? I hear a gay <laughs> man. Gay man so are you gonna sing for us? Yes. 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 Okay. Ready? I love it. It's great. We like the. She's like the slow. I know mirror. it's like getting uh, like it's like moving to the next studio for the for breakfast television or something. Oh, it's so great, and it's a lovely okay, so this, studio. This next... Oh, oh, we got a little internet. I'm page. excited. Oh, I'm right. excited about what's going to happen. Whenever there's a little glitch, I'm always like, "What did did the plug come out? Did the?" <laughs> It's actually quite a flattering freeze frame, I have to admit. It is, Louise. I've been lovely. caught in some really brutal freeze frames <laughs> in my time. How, How have I never heard, heard a gay man? Can I get a get? Oh, Gabby, you know what? That's a big girl special. Oh, yeah. do I need? To, I wonder if I need to like reboot. Them. Maybe you have to boot them out and let them come back in. Let's try that. All right, they'll figure it boot. out. Our people. So, Ryan, what? Yeah, Chris. What has been the most oh. favorite thing that you have done in the last eight weeks? What, what has brought you the most joy in the last eight weeks? Oh, geez. That's, uh, uh, well, I, I do feel gratified that the pigeons built a nest on the balcony above me. So that's brought me a lot of personal, you know, gratification and joy. I, you know, I think in the end it's been, uh, Keep talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna having, call them. <laughs> having a routine uh, in 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 this, or at least uh, la I'm, I'm laughing a lot. That is the one thing that I'm grateful for is that within the uh, community that we have and the friendships that we have, and then visiting on these shows and stuff, spending a lot of time really laughing and enjoying myself. And it's it's very yeah. exciting to see other people's creativity blossom as well. Yeah, Just watching sure. people on Facebook and and 
I mean, and, and I know we, we went through this. It's really funny the kind of waves that we've gone through, I think, in quarantine, which was like the panic wave. And, oh, my God, how are we going to eat? And then there was the everybody made a video and, and everybody got on the production bandwagon. And then there came the memes of it's okay not to be productive. You don't have to do anything. Congratulate yourself for getting out of bed today. And then there was the memes that came. You can not get out of bed or you can write the world's next play. It's okay. You can do everything. And so now I think we're on the other side of, like, I think we're, we might actually, I mean, for me, I'm kind of getting into a groove. Yeah. I, I've obtained Get some. into the groove. Then. Boy, I had to prove <laughs> my career to me. I had to prove <laughs> my career to myself. So I've actually uh, obtained some one-on-one uh, -on -one students. So, uh, I've uh, created a uh, an eight-week acting or, okay, well, you'll never know, everyone. <laughs> you'll never know how it ends you'll have to career. tell us about you've you've created a dot 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 no, I've created a, a dot 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 hi louise welcome back sorry about that okay, oh, okay. okay. it is awesome. live stream we love it yes. you went under a bridge it's okay all right <laughs> all right okay so this basically is the story of how we met <laughs> oh is it also okay. from the life Oh no, we're glitching. Oh, oh, oh. We're good. There, there we go. Okay, don't move anything. You're back. We're gonna, give you, we're gonna give this stream. How you met in a musical no, expression. No, no I'm kidding. We, we did, okay, go. <laughs> Not yet. Oh my God. <laughs> That certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad in the air. There were angels dialing at the Ritz, and a nightingale sang. In my... I may be right, I may be wrong, but I'm perfectly willing to swear. You turn and smile at me, a nightingale said in Barclay Square. The moon that lingered over London town. Oh, he wore a frown. Oh, how could he know we two were so in love? The whole wide world seemed upside down. The streets of town were paved with stones. It was such a romantic affair and when we kissed and said goodbye a night in case in Barclay Square
Go, Chris, what were you going to say, love? You're on mute, honey. We can't hear you. I'm mindful of the time, so I might keep Mark close to the piano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so put the, put the, put the, uh, put it in, in song mode position, and then just grab Mark and bring him beside you for a red hot second. <laughs> Ooh, we're very impressed with your, uh, your um, floor crew. Very good. Well done. Very good. So I do. I do oh, it's so lovely. I, do, just, I just had to say, listening to you two work together is like watching two raindrops chase each other on a window. Oh, it's, that's a beautiful analogy. It, it, you guys intersect and you and you separate and you dance around each other and with each other, and it's sparkly and beautiful and and just be like natural. So thank you so much for that. Because we're we're practicing some songs for um, our next album, whatever, and uh, we do it. We rehearse and we play it. And we're like, oh, too bad it'll never sound like that again because. Oh. Always a one time. Mm. Of course. Yeah. You just yes. got to record every take. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to know before you sing us home, where did you two meet? For realsies. Okay. Okay. So no. See? <laughs> <laughs> you need to fight on there right now. You want us fighting. Okay. So it was at an audition. Okay. And I had just come from New York. So I thought I was the ish and whatever. And I go into this place and I see this guy at a piano. He's got this long, like rock on hair. And he's got this jewelry and he's got, he didn't have glasses at the time, but he was all looking all whatever and sad and whatever. And I'm, <laughs> I had this jazzy piece. I'm like, oh, New York jazz. And I'm like, oh, nuts. This guy's yeah. going to be awful. So I said, okay, so hi, here's the thing. And I'm, I go over and I'm like, I need it to start like this. And I want to go here at the end, whatever. And the look he gave me, he was just like, lady, please. And I thought, oh, man. So I'm accompanying these auditions. Oh, you're the guy. Yes. Yeah, oh, I have. Yes. Oh. And so <laughs> this chick comes in and she <laughs> So condescending. I want it like this. It needs to swing. Do you know swing? It needs I to swing. Need to I'm like, you know swing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, then we do the thing and he plays and he plays it. It's like, oh, hey, this is great, great, great. Ending, cut off, bam. Yeah. I was like, right. And I go over nicely. I'm like, that was great. Thanks. And he hands me my music, like, here you go. <laughs> This guy. Anyway, I got the gig, and we've made beautiful music ever since. Oh wow, that is an amazing that story. Is an awesome and yes. Oh, was he wearing pants? <laughs> yes, Valerie he was wearing pants. And yes, it does need to be a sitcom. I would watch that show. Oh my god, I would watch that oh, show. Man. Well. Honest to God, we could talk to you guys for two hours. That's before the thing that's went by too fast. Before we, uh, while I'm doing this, Mark, I'm going to invite you back to the piano, my beautiful man. Tomorrow, uh, we are concluding our seventh week. Oh my gosh, I can hardly believe it. Yeah, guys. Wow. We are joined by the glorious Kira Galoyan, uh, a fabulous talent. Uh, ethereal. Ethereal, fantastic. Done so much fabulous work. We're so thrilled to have her tomorrow. If you're following us in the social media and you want us to do a little shout out, you can hashtag us out at Big Girl and Friends. Um, Louise and Mark, your 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 spirit is as boundless as your talent, and we are just so. Oh my God! I just like my heart is so filled with joy right now. Thank you Thanks for having us, guys. Really, we're just a hot mess. So thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you're not wonderful, you're Adrian. You were a rock star with your panning. You're killing it. Thanks, yes. Mr. <laughs> Yes, Adrian. So, pan it. So good. Well, would you graciously sing out us this evening, this fine, fabulous Friday? 
Will do. All right. Thanks, Boo. Thank you. your fan there girl. oh i was in the south uh, it was beautiful oh. thank you that song is so great uh i love this family oh. that was so does the that was from my sister big girl sister oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. oh. Your big girl sister said thank you oh, yeah. <laughs> oh adrian mark louise thank you for sharing your beautiful muse at your your crew your musical stylings your family connection. We are just, what a way to begin this gorgeous weekend with, as Amanda says, a gorgeous family. Yes. Oh. You guys, oh, cheers, congratulations. This is a wonderful, wonderful effort. And I thank you so much. It's helping so many people. 
just to know that you're doing this is amazing. Thank you for well, that part. You guys, you offered a song that launched the energy. Honest to God, I, I, I kid you not. When I heard that recording, I was, I was like, <laughs> "We got a show. We got a show." We got a show. <laughs> Well, listen, can you guys do me a favor? I'm going to roll the credits. They're going to hear you sing again and play on the way out. Can you guys set yourself up for a family photo on the couch? And we'll come back as soon as we uh, close off the thing. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, join us tomorrow with Kira Galoyan. And thank you for joining us. <laughs> tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone. A time like none we've had in the past. Stuck in your home. How long will this last? You're feeling anxious. Stress starts to grow. 